Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. So welcome to the channel so today in this video we are going to cover some questions with their brief explanation so here we have first question is flash point of an aerosol is determined by options are option a tag open cup apparatus that is flash point b cascade impactor c light scattering decay and D all of the above so that flash point of an aerosol is determined by which apparatus that is tag open cup apparatus is used to determine the flash point of an aerosol so let's discuss with the help of explanation that flash tag open cup apparatus is used to determine the flash point where this cascade impactor is used for particle size determination that is where and another one light scattering decay it is used for particle size determination and the range is they given 0 0.1 to 20 gram and in cascade impact case 0 0.2 to 30 gram so moving on next question chain a and B of insulin are linked by options are option A amide linkage, option B disulfide linkage, option C sulfide linkage, option D hydrogen linkage. Which linkage is used to link the chain A and chain B of insulin? So the correct answer is disulfide linkage is used to link chain A and chain B of insulin. So let's discuss in detail that first structure of insulin. So structure insulin is composed of two peptide chain that is A chain and B chain. A and, chain, chain, uh, A and B chains are linked by two disulfide bonds and an, addi an additional disulfide is formed within the uh, within the one a chain in most species a chain is consist 21 amino acids where b chain consist 30 amino acid and talking about the amino actually amino acid sequence of insulin varies among species and certain segments of the molecules are highly conserved including the position of the three disulfide bonds both ends of both ends of the a chain and c terminal re residues of the b chain so it's all about the insulin that insulin consists of 51 amino acids uh, that is uh, uh, divided into two chains that is a and b chain a chain consists 21 amino acids where b chain consists 30 amino acids and it is linked by disulfide bond here we just uh, have a structure of the insulin that a chain consists 21 amino acid that is 21 amino acid where b chain consists 30 amino acid and it is linked by disulfide bond it's in a disulfide bond so it's all about the insulin so moving on the next question antibody present in highest amount in the body is and the options are option a igm option b igd option e ige option d igg so which is the antibody is present in highest amount in the body is so the correct answer is igg is present and the highest amount of antibody in the body so let's discuss about their percentage in the body here we have a chart that igg present in the highest amount of the uh, highest amount that is 80 percent where igm present 6 percent and a present 13 percent d present 1 percent and ige present at 0 0.02 
so how to learn this percentage or a series we can learn that g is just individual word m a d e so it words combine made g made so g present at highest amount so it's a trick that made 6 13 1 point zero two so i hope student you just your doubt is clear uh, regarding the percentage of antibodies in um, body so moving on the next question what is the now known name of the given reaction so here this is the reaction given and we have to just name this reaction and the options are option a Gatterman's reaction option b Sandmeyer's reaction option c Marvin reaction and options d Balls is schemen reaction so which is the reaction is given above and we have to name that reaction so the correct answer of this reaction is Marvin reaction how what is Marvin reaction let's dis discuss with the help of explanation that benzene diazonium chloride reacts with the compound containing activated double bonds to produce phenylated product so the reaction is called the Marvin reaction so students just try to learn that the reactant is benzene diazonium chloride reacts with the compound of containing activated double bonds and the what will be the product the product will be the phenylated phenylated product so so it's all about the Marvin reaction Marvin aryllation so moving on the next question which method provides the precise identification and description of a crystalline substance so we have to just identify the method option a microscopy option b x-ray crystallography option c dsc or dta and option d nmr so which method provides the precise identification and description of crystalline substance we have to name that method so the correct answer is x-ray crystallography is the method which provides the precise identification and description of crystalline substance so what is extra crystallography we have to know first so x-ray crystallography that it is a technique used for determining the atomic and molecular structure of a crystal in which the crystalline structure goes a beam of incident x-ray to diffract into many specific direction how it is possible we just look in uh, with the help of diagram first of all we have to know about the that by measuring the angles and intensities of these diffracted beams which is uh, diffracted by the uh, crystalline substance a crystallographer crystallographer uh, can produce a 3d picture of the density of electron within the crystal and from this electron density the mean position of the atoms or their uh, actually their structure with the help of mean position of the atoms in the crystal can be determined as well as their chemical bonds their crystallographic disorder and various other information can be observed with the help of this instrument so it's all about the x-ray crystallography and what how the x-ray crystallography looks like we just have an explanation with the help of this diagram so this is the diagram this is the x-ray source in which that it is a sample so suppose an x-ray comes from here and the just goes through the sample and it is a diffracted rays which is produced by the this sample that is protein sample crystal and the lights are diffracted in these pattern and the diffraction pattern can be observed by the crystallographer that is C and may uh, leads to the uh, making of 3d model that is a 3d model we can observe so how so it's all about the x-ray crystallography moving on the next question biological indicator for gaseous sterilization is and the options are option a bacillus pumilus option b bacillus subtilis variety niger option c c dot sporogenes 
ऑप्शन डी सी डॉट टेटानी सो विच इज दट आंसर और बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर ऑफ गैसियसिस्ट्रलाइजेशन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बेसिलस सबटिलस वेराइटी नाइजर सो लेट्स डिस्कस विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस टेबल दैट देर आर वेरियस इंडिकेटर ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर विद दल्प एंड स्टेलाइजेशन मैथड दीज आर दिस्टलाइजेशन मैथड एंड जस्ट गिव बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर्स सो फॉर ड्राई ही the brown tube bore dick heat sensitive tapes and clostridium clostridium sporogens are used in where in moist heat the b stereothermophilus or bacillus coagulans are used as biological indicators in case of gases that is ethylene oxide bacillus subtilis variety niger or bacillus subtilis variety golbigi so the correct answer is bacillus subtilis variety niger used in gaseous sterilization and in case of radiation uv light the bacillus pumilus or bacillus spacerius students just try to learn these biological indicators with the help of with sterilization methods with their specifications because it is sometimes the question may also arise from this and talking about the filtration sterilization method we use as a biological indicator pseudomonas diminuta and seretia maricens the this all uh, it is all about sterilization method and biological indicators so moving on the next question a term which describes a cofactor that is firmly bound to an apo apoenzyme so the options are option a poloenzyme option b prosthetic group option c coenzyme option d transferase so which is the term which is used to describe a cofactor that is firmly bound to an apoenzyme so the correct answer is coenzyme is used to describe that so let's have a discuss uh, with the help of explanation that what is apoenzyme apoenzyme is the protein component of an enzyme to which the coenzyme attaches to form an active enzyme where a coen what is coenzyme then a coenzyme is a known protein where a, a coenzyme is a protein component and a known protein chemical compound that is bind to an enzyme and which with loosely bound cofactor term coenzymes and tightly bound cofactors termed as prosthetic group and what is transferase then transferase are those enzyme which are responsible for transfer of groups as its name indicate transferase so it's all about the information about the apoenzyme coenzyme and transferase so moving on the next question vigapartrin a newer antileptic is a options are gaba agonist gaba transaminase inhibitor option c an md an antagonist and option d calcium inhibitor so what is vigabatrin actually and the vigabatrin is a new anti newer anti epileptic drug and the it is gaba transaminase inhibitor so we just give a trick to learn about this that what is uh, how we can learn about the vigabatrin ga vigabatrin as a uh, it is an inhibitor of gaba transaminase the enzyme which degrades gaba gaba and anti convulsant action may be due to increase in synaptic gaba concentration and it is effective in many patients with refractory epilepsy cps with or without generalization it is approved for adjuvant medication visual field contraction and production of behavioral changes and depression so its main defect is visual field means visual defect so if the question may ask that what is the major adverse effect of the vigabatrin as its name indicate viga vi starting from the vi so it then it leads to the visual defect students just try to learn with the help of these tricks and a behavioral change is also occur with the uh, with this drug so we can explain with the help of this table that here here 
just vika batrin inhibit the gaba transmenase vika batrin so there are three mechanism of action that uh, three methods that prolongation of sodium channel inactivation facilitation of gaba mediated chloride channel opening and inhibition of t type calcium current so these are the drugs which are given with in these condition to help in these conditions so you have to learn these so it's all about the vigabatrin that vigabatrin actually inhibits the uh, facilitation of leads to the facility facilitation of gaba mediated chloride channel opening so how it uh, happened that vega button actually inhibit the gaba transmenase inhibitor which help to gaba initiate that it leads to the uh, chloride channel opening so this is all about the vega button moving on the next question lucas reagent is option a is zn scl option b is fecl3 option c is baso4 and option d is none of the above so which is the lucas reagent and the correct answer is zn cl lucas reagent is zn cl so let's have a discussion about this that lucas reagent is a solution of anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated scl this solution is used to classify alcohols of low molecular weight so just try to write down that what actually lucas reagent does so the reaction is a substitution in which the chloride replaces a hydroxyl group so it's all about the lucas reagent and the correct answer is zn scl so next question is about acidic drug which is statement is true the so options are best absorbed in acidic medium best absorbed in alkaline medium not absorbed in acidic medium and bind to alpha glycoprotein so what is uh, the what statement is true about acidic drug so the true statement is about acidic drug is best absorbed in acidic medium how it will how it will happen we can explain with the help of this that a, when a weak acid is given orally most of the drug in the stomach is Unionized. That most of the drug students just try to learn that most of the drug are present in unionized, unionized form and favoring diffusion through the gastric mucosa. So theoretically, weakly acidic drugs like aspirin is a weakly acidic drug are more readily absorbed from an acid medium. So the correct answer is that uh, what will be the correct answer of all acidic uh, drug? That it is absorbed uh, good in acidic medium. So it's all about this video. Thank you.